Muslim physicists. Muslims have been very successful and influential in the area of physics, and I'll be giving a few examples in this short video. One of the most successful Muslim physicists was Al Hassan bin Haytham, who lived in the city of Basra in Iraq in the 10th century. He studied light, including areas of reflection and refraction of light, which is the basis of various things, such as glasses. He also studied light and discovered the camera obscura, which is the basis of photography, including the modern camera that we have today. In the 9th century, in the city of Baghdad, there was the House of Wisdom, which is a bit similar to a research center. Muslims, Christians, and Jews all came together to do research. Among its members were the Banu Musa brothers in the 9th century. They produced a book of ingenious devices, and among their devices was a pedestal which dispersed hot and cold water, a bit similar to how you might think of as a mixing tap nowadays, and that's a bit similar to the area of plumbing nowadays. Their work was very successful and influential and influenced a successful Muslim engineer, Al Jazari, who produced a book about ingenious mechanical devices. Al Jazari lived in the 12th century, which was much later than the Banu Musa brothers in the 9th century. He produced this interesting looking clock, and they have a replica of it in Dubai. He produced many devices, amongst them was the crankshaft, which is the basis for engineering nowadays, and is the basis of various mechanical devices, such as the car engine. Another influential physicist was Ibn Bajah, who lived in the 11th century in Andalus, which is now part of modern Spain. Among his works, he made the theory which said, for every action, there is a reaction. Notice just how similar this is to the work of the English scientist Isaac Newton in the 17th century, which is five centuries later. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton himself once said, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. He doesn't specify who these giants are, but Ibn Bajah and other Muslim scientists might have been among them. Muslims remain influential in the area of physics today and there are a few notable examples such as Abdul Kalam who was the 11th president of India and was also a nuclear physicist. Another example is Dr. Farzana Aslam who is originally from Pakistan. She is a member of the Institute of Physics in the UK. She is also a lecturer at Coventry University which is a UK university. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel.